Hi everybody and welcome to a Studio One quick tip. Today we want to take a look at how we can insert some space at the beginning of your song or anywhere in between. Or maybe you have a lot of your song done already, but now you decide that one part needs to be a few bars longer. So how to do that in Studio One? In this project I am quite happy with this part of the song, but I think the transition to the next part needs to be longer, so I'd like to insert two bars before the next part. One command that many users are not aware of is select from event to end. And this command really comes in handy when you just need to select everything to the right and move it by a few bars. You find this command here in the edit menu under select. I use this pretty often, so I just take the keyboard shortcut shift plus alt plus end. And that's pretty cool, just select one event and then studio one goes from this position and selects everything from this point to the right. And then you can move the whole section and here's the second shortcut you need to know. Control plus Alt plus Right or Command plus Alt plus Right on macOS. And that's gonna shift all the events in steps of one bar. So if we need all this four bars later, I just hit Command plus Alt plus Right. Or if you need to cut at that position first, just press Control plus A or Command plus A on Mac and then Alt plus X. And now select everything to the right and just move it. And that's also very handy for notes in the editor. You have recorded some notes and now you want to move everything from here to the end of the part. So just press Shift plus Alt plus End to select all these notes and now you can move them. And of course the same works for Shift plus Alt plus Home. This is gonna select all previous notes. But there's one problem with this approach and this is when you have more than just some audio or instrument events, like arranger sections, tempo automation or markers. These won't be selected. So if you have some markers in your song and you move all your events, they won't be in sync anymore. So let me show you another way of inserting silence that makes sure to really move all kinds of events or automation so everything stays in sync and that's by using the loop range. Just set your loop range to the part where you want to insert silence, then right click the timeline and select the command insert silence in loop. And that's basically everything we need to do to insert some space here. And maybe you have already seen there's another command delete time in loop. And this can be extremely useful as well when you need to delete a whole section in a song for example, if there's a saxophone solo or something like that. So in that case, you can simply select the whole saxophone solo part and say delete time and loop. And now you've instantly improved your song. Pretty cool. Okay, but I actually love saxophone. I hope you like this workflow tip. If you do, please hit the like button and subscribe to not miss other videos in the future. Thanks for watching.